Hello, and welcome to this gentle yoga practice with me, Alicia Waters. Please begin in a comfortable seated position. You can be kneeling over a bolster or cushion, or if there's any discomfort in the knees, make your seat higher by taking a block, or you could use a thick book and placing it between the feet. Then your bolster, or just a normal pillow, can go over the block and you can kneel here. Alternatively, you can sit cross-legged using the exact same setup. If you're sitting cross-legged, make sure that the knees are at the same level as the hips or below the hips so that the groins and the hip flexors can be relaxed. You can make your seat as high as you need so that the knees don't stick up towards the chin. Once you've found a comfortable seat that you can stay in for a few minutes, Begin to lengthen the spine and deepen the breath. Root down through the sitting bones where your hips touch your bolster or cushion and lengthen up through the crown of the head. Begin to deepen the breath, drawing each inhale low into the belly, then expanding the rib cage in all directions. As you exhale, soften the rib cage and draw the navel to spine, pressing out every last drop of air. Breathe in, visualizing the belly as a balloon, filling up with breath. With each exhale, deflate the balloon completely. Keep breathing in and out through the nose for the remainder of the practice with a deep, full breath. With your next exhale, turn to gaze over the right shoulder. Inhale, look center. Exhale, turn to gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale, gaze center. Exhale to look right. Inhale, gaze center. Exhale to look left. Inhale, gaze center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center and exhale, gaze left. Inhale back to center, exhale, lower the right ear to right shoulder. Inhale, center, lower left ear to left shoulder. Inhale, center, exhale, right ear to right shoulder. Inhale, center, left ear to left shoulder. Inhale, center, exhale, head leans to the right. Inhale, center, exhale, head leans to the left. Come back to center. On an inhale, press your chest forward, gazing up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale to come forward, gazing up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, heart forward, elbows back, gaze up. Exhale to round. Continue with your own breath at a natural pace, opening up the spine. The next time you press your chest forward, begin to circle the rib cage in either direction. Inhale to roll forward, exhale to roll back. And keep moving with your breath. Inhale, circle forward, exhale, circle back at any pace that's good for you. Reverse direction and see if you can make the circles a little bigger each time you go around. Come back to center. On an inhale, squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale to lower them down. Inhale, squeezing the shoulders up. Exhale, release them down. And keep moving with your own breath. Inhale to lift and squeeze. Exhale to lower and soften. Open the arms out to a T shape. As you exhale, cross the left elbow under the right, like you're giving yourself a hug and tuck your chin to the chest. Inhale, open the arms back to a T-shape. Exhale, cross the arms the other way like you're giving yourself a hug and lower the chin to the chest. Inhale, open the arms back to a T. Cross the arms the first way, left arm under right, chin to chest. Inhale, open the arms back to a T. Exhale, right arm under left, chin to chest, squeezing inwards. 
Inhale to open the arms. Exhale, recross, left elbow under right, hugging the shoulders. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, right elbow under left, hugging everything to the midline. Inhale, open the arms out to a T. Exhale, sweep the arms behind you and interlace the fingers, pressing palms together, reaching knuckles to floor and opening the chest. If this isn't possible, hold on to opposite elbows, draw the elbows down, open the chest and lift the chin. Whichever variation you're taking, squeeze shoulder blades together, broaden the collarbones and reach through the crown of the head. Slowly release the arms. Inhale, sweep them overhead. Exhale, twist to your right. Left hand outside the right thigh. Right hand behind you on the floor or on your back. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, roll the right shoulder back and twist deeper. Make this your twist mantra. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Palms touch. Exhale, twist left the opposite direction, right hand to outer left thigh, left hand to the lower back or to the floor if it's comfortable. Inhale, reach through the crown of the head, exhale, twist deeper. Make your last exhale your deepest twist yet. And as you inhale, sweep both arms all the way overhead, palms touch, exhale, hands to heart. Reaching forward, coming off of your props, moving any bolsters, cushions, or blocks to the side. And then find a tabletop position, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, lift the tailbone and the gaze. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, tailbone lifts, heart moves through the arms, gaze lifts. Exhale, belly to spine. Continue cat and cow with your own breath. Inhale to arch the back. Exhale to round. With your next inhale, extend your right leg back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend the leg back. Exhale, draw the knee to the nose. Inhale, reach the right leg back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale to extend the leg and stay with the leg at hip height. Reach the left arm forward and stretch from left fingertips through right heel. Draw the navel to spine and feel strong in the core of your body. Keep the limbs active. Release on an exhale. Inhale, lift the left arm to the heart. Then unfurl it all the way up to the sky. Exhale, thread the left arm under the right, hovering off the floor. Inhale to open up, reaching across the chest. Exhale to thread under and hover. Inhale to open and expand. Exhale, squeeze the belly in as you hover. Inhale, open out and expand, and exhale, release the left hand to the earth. Return to cat and cow. Move with your own breath at your own pace. Inhale, lift the tailbone and the gaze. Exhale, round the spine. Keep going on your own. With your next inhale, extend the left leg back behind you, lifting the leg to hip height. Exhale, draw the knee into the chest. Inhale to extend. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extending long. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, reach through the foot. Exhale, hugging everything in. Inhale to reach out long. Exhale, curling in. Inhale to reach long and then extend the right arm out in front of you. Stretching from right fingertips back through the left heel. Draw the belly button up toward the spine. Keep the core of the body strong and engaged. Release on an exhale. Inhale, draw the right hand in front of the heart and then extend it all the way up to the sky. Exhale, thread the right arm under the left, hovering off the floor. Inhale to open and extend, reaching high. Exhale to hover. Inhale, open, broadening the chest. Exhale, hover the right arm off the floor, draw the belly in. Inhale to open and expand. Exhale to release the right hand to the mat. Slowly sit back to a kneeling position. If this is uncomfortable, come to a high kneel, hips over knees. Reach the arms forward. 
Turn the left fingertips down and press on the back of the left hand, drawing it towards the forearm. Release, lift the left fingertips to the sky and draw back on the hand once again. Release, turn the left thumb to face up and draw the thumb back towards the wrist. Switch hands, turning the right fingertips down to the floor and press gently on the back of the hand. Release, turn the right fingertips up and draw the fingers back towards the forearm. Release, turn the right thumb to the sky and draw the thumb back towards the wrist. Release and reach forward to gently make your way into a standing position, coming to stand however is comfortable for you. For the next section, you'll want a chair in front of your mat to put your hands on. You can also be in front of a couch or a table if that's more convenient. When you're set up, come to stand at the top of your mat with the hands at heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, bend the knees, folding at the waist to dive over the legs. Place the hands on the floor, or if they don't touch, reach for a chair in front of you. Let the back be long and the breath be steady. If it's comfortable, you can slowly begin to straighten the legs, stretching the hamstrings and the backs of the thighs. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, circle the arms all the way overhead as you come to stand. Exhale, draw the hands down in front of the heart. Inhale, circle the arms overhead, full deep breath. Exhale, bend the knees, folding at the waist, planting the hands on the floor or the chair, and straightening the legs to your comfort level. Reach through the crown of the head to lengthen the spine. To come out, exhale, bend both knees. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way overhead as you stand up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Last round, inhale, circle the arms overhead. Exhale, fold at the hips, keeping a long spine as you bend forward. Let the head be soft. And if you find yourself straining or struggling to reach the floor with the low back rounded, reach for a block or another prop to rest the hands. A block is a good intermediate height between the chair and the floor. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way out and up, filling the body with breath. Exhale, hands to heart. Exhale, bend both knees as though sitting back in an invisible chair. Squeeze the thighs together. Keep the body strong, navel to spine. Option on an inhale to extend the arms overhead. This will make the pose more challenging. Reach through the fingertips and draw the shoulder blades down the back. Inhale to stand. Exhale to release the hands to the heart. Take a deep breath and rest. Next round, exhale, bend the knees, sit way back in your chair. Option to extend the arms overhead. Keep drawing the navel to the spine and the sides of the waist toward the midline of the body. All the while, keep the breath deep, the body strong. Inhale to stand, exhale, hands to heart. Last round. Exhale, bend the knees, squeezing the navel to spine. Sit a little bit lower, reach the arms overhead, hug the inner thighs together, stay strong in your foundation and keep the breath steady. One more breath. To release, exhale, reach the hands forward, placing them onto the chair in front of you. Straighten the legs to your comfort level, shifting the shoulders over the wrists. Inhale, lift the right leg back and up in line with the right hip. Keep pressing through the right heel. The back stays long, belly strong, lifting towards the spine. Inhale, lift the right leg a little higher and exhale, lower it down to meet the left. Inhale, lift the left leg high, back and up behind you. Keep the legs strong and active, reaching through the left heel. Simultaneously, the crown of the head reaches forward as the heel reaches back. The whole body is strong and active. Exhale to release the leg down. 
Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, bend the knee, drawing the knee to the chest. Inhale, extend the leg. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend through an active leg, press through the heel. Exhale, squeeze the knee to the chest. Inhale, reach the leg long, and exhale, step down, right foot next to left. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, squeeze the knee to the chest. Inhale to extend. Exhale to hug in, belly strong. Inhale, reach back through the left leg. Exhale, curling in. Inhale to extend back, strong left leg. Exhale to step down. Walk the feet back a few inches for a modified downward facing dog, lowering the heart towards the floor, the head between the arms, creating a straight line from hands to tailbone. Press the hands down strongly into the chair. Ground the feet into the floor to feel your whole body strong and active. To come out, gently walk forward. And here you can move the chair. You won't need it for the rest of the practice. Come to lay down on your belly on the mat, making your way to the floor in whatever way is comfortable for you. Move the block out of the way a few inches in front of the head and walk the hands directly under the shoulders, elbows straight back. Legs are parallel, toes pointing straight back. Press the tops of the feet into the floor to lift the kneecaps. On an inhale, lift the upper body, hovering the hands off the earth. Lift the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, lift up a little higher, and exhale to release. Stack the hands, rest the head on the backs of the hands. Breathe deeply into the belly as you rest. For the next round, open the arms to cactus shape, elbows at 90 degrees. Inhale, lift the upper body off the floor, feet stay down. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, elbows lift. Inhale, lift a little higher, exhale to lower. Keep the arms in a cactus shape. Inhale to lift both legs, leaving the upper body on the earth. Reach through the feet and exhale to lower the legs. With your next inhale, lift everything off the floor. Legs are strong, arms are active, lifting the elbows, reaching strong through the soles of the feet. Inhale, lift up a little higher, and exhale to lower down, stacking the hands and resting the head on the backs of the hands. Rock the hips left to right to soften the low back. Reach the arms forward on the floor in front of you. Inhale, lift the right leg and left arm. Exhale to lower. The head can be lifted off the floor. Inhale, lift left leg and right arm. Exhale to lower. Continue to inhale, lifting opposite leg and arm. Exhaling to lower, moving at your own pace in a slow, steady rhythm. If it's uncomfortable for you to keep the head lifted, you can reach for the block and rest the forehead on the block as you continue with the same motion. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Keep reaching long through the arm and the leg as you move, continuing with a slow, steady breath. On your next inhale, lift both arms and legs off the floor at the same time. Exhale, move the block if you are using it and lower down onto the hands to rest. Deepen the breath and rock the hips left to right to relax the muscles of the back. Getting ready to move, bring your block with you, leaving it beside your mat. Take the hands beside the rib cage, press up onto hands and knees. Big toes touch, knees go wide, and sit the hips back toward the heels for balasana child's pose. If the hips don't easily reach the heels, place a cushion or a pillow between the hips and the heels. Also, if the forehead doesn't easily touch the earth, you can use a block at any height to rest the forehead so that the head and neck can relax. Walk the arms forward, finding a position that's comfortable and restorative for you. As you rest, breathe deeply into the belly, closing the eyes, letting the breath be soft and the mind be soft taking the next few moments to focus on a deep, steady breath, turning the attention inward for a well-deserved rest.
preparing to come out of child's pose. On an inhale, rock the weight forward into the hand, moving any props that you were using. And then sit the hips back down towards the heels and sit off to one side so you can sweep the legs around in front of you. Moving in any way that is comfortable for you, finding Dandasana staff pose, sitting tall on the mat with the legs out straight in front of you, hands by the hips. If the low back is rounding, find a cushion, take it behind the tailbone and lift yourself up onto the cushion so that the legs hang off and only the sitting bones are resting on the cushion. Stay active in your Dandasana pose reaching out through the soles of the feet and the crown of the head, navel drawing in toward the spine. On an exhale, slowly walk the hands forward on either side of the legs as you round forward or holding onto the sides of the feet or the calves. If you're holding onto the feet or the calves, you can pull back to help reach the crown of the head forward towards the feet. This is a great place to also use a strap around the balls of the feet if you'd like to use a prop. Once you've found a variation of the forward fold that works for you, deepen the breath, soften the face, and remember that you're aiming for a balance of effort and ease. Enough effort to feel sensation, but not so much sensation that it causes the body distress. To come out, release the hands, walking them back towards the hips on either side of the legs. Use the hands to help bend the knees, stepping the feet to the floor. Then open the knees out to the side, soles of the feet together. Measure the distance to the heels with straight arms. If you find the back rounding, reach the hands behind you to press into the floor and lengthen the spine. If the spine can stay long, walk the hands forward rounding the upper body over the legs. This is Tarasana, star pose. Stay here, breathing deeply and evenly, enjoying the passive phase of the practice. To come out, exhale navel to spine, slowly round up, walking the hands up the legs. Use the hands to help the knees together. Lift yourself off of the cushion if you are using it and move it to the side. If you would like a cushion under the knees for Shavasana, you can place it under the knees now. With the knees bent to the sky, reach the arms forward. Exhale, roll down through the spine to come all the way onto the back. Straighten the legs, either onto the floor or onto your cushion. Begin to let the body melt into the earth. Imagine a wave of relaxation starting at the crown of your head and running all the way down the sides of your neck, across the face, softening the eyes, the cheeks, releasing the tongue from the roof of the mouth, softening the throat, softening the space around the heart, soften the centers of the palms and the centers of the soles of the feet.
begin to notice the sounds around you, drawing the breath deep into the belly as you bring your awareness back to the physical body. Slowly begin to move fingers and toes, turning the head from side to side. When you feel ready, reach both arms overhead for a full body stretch, big delicious stretch. On an exhale, draw both knees into the chest and softly roll onto the right side, resting for a moment or two in the fetal position and then using the support of your hands to press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Draw the palms together in front of the heart, recognizing yourself for your effort and hard work. Being grateful for your body, your breath, and this day. The light in me honors and recognizes the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for practicing yoga with me today. Stay safe, stay joyful, and stay in practice.